Hey there, Adam here. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate your Monday.com account with Outlook. Specifically this time, we're going to do Outlook emails. I'll do another video on Outlook calendar. So I'm going to start with a fresh workspace, just so you can see how I do it from start to finish. So I'm going to create a new board. So the integrations are actually on a board by board level, so you're going to have to integrate each time with each board. So new board, let's just call it Outlook email. Integrations. If I can spell, sure, that looks right. So this is our default board. You're going to go up to integrate. So it's next to automate. <laughs> Makes sense. And then you're going to search for Outlook. And then you're going to click on the Outlook button. And if it's the first time, I'm going to add a little clip of how once you click on one of these, it's going to ask you to connect your account, so I'll add that little clip here. Okay, and here's how to actually attach your uh, account, your Outlook account, with Monday.com. So you're going to click on Integrate. You're going to search for Outlook. You're going to click on Outlook. And then pick any of these. It's not going to matter. Click on one that's going to ask you to connect your Outlook account. Connect. You do have to have a business account for this. I'm going to blur some stuff out. Or it automatically has my information. Oh, no, it doesn't. All right. Uh, I'm going to pause the video while I pull up my uh, password manager. Put in your password. Permissions required. Accept. Wait for the loading screen. This is slower than expected. All right, once it goes through, you are now connected. Okay, now that you've gotten the uh, connection, now we're going to click on here. This is the, the option. So it is a little less robust than the board integrations. Board integrations, you know, you can sort of do them by scratch. I, for the integration center with Outlook, or Okay, so now we're at, back here after we've got our actual account connected, that's just a one, one time per account thing. So now whenever you click on integrations in the board, uh, it'll work each time. Uh, so you see, you have less options here than I say, like the automations. Where if you go to automations, you can sort of create them customly by by uh, from my uh, scratch from scratch. Not the case with integrations. Integrations are narrow. Uh, that's okay though. It's narrow is okay. Narrow narrow works. So th the big one is my favorite personally is this one. When when a new item is created. I send an email to somebody. So you can choose your account. So this is the one that I already attached earlier on. So we're going to select Adam. And then when it says send an email, uh, you can say what type of email is. Let's just say new item on uh, Outlook board. And then this is the auto population. So this is where the magic sort of works. This is your different categories that were on your board. I'll show you again in a second. Uh, that's just the default one. So in this case, I you can actually just do this this way. So new item on board name instead, and then let's just say whatever the item name may be. So item name was created on today's date, and then who do I want to email? Well. You got a couple options here. You can create a custom column, or in this case, I just want to email myself. So I'm just going to email me, add to board. So now you've got, you're going to see up here, you got board integrations with Outlook. So let's create a new item. And let's just say, testing for the YouTube video, create, and we'll give it a second. Well, we're waiting on that to send. Let's go back up to integrations. And go back to Outlook. Oh, I heard a ping. I think 
coming through on my cell phone at least. So, there we go. So now you're going to see testing for YouTube video. So this one, test for YouTube, created on, oh, whoops. So now you're going to see the error that I made here. I did not have an automation for the date. So let's try it again. Do it correctly this time. Testing for YouTube again. Date of. Well, now, you, now you're going to see, again, we're going to have the same issue. It's going to send. It's not going to have a date. So to do this correctly, you'd have to set up an automation to have an automatic date. Or you can just modify this to not have a date at all. So let's just say created. And then you can update it, and then you've, you've got what you want. Now, this is as flexible as you'd like it to be. You know, of course, I think this is probably the easiest way to do it, but one of the more uh, robust methods is if you want to go in and set it based on due dates. So, for, for example, if the status, you know, this is also a good one. Every time period, let's just say once a week. Weekly, Monday at 8 a.m. So if status is not done, you can, you can have it send an email for each item on this board. So let's just say this is like your critical board. You know, your uh, hop on it. This is our, these are our, our target items need to get done. I, they may not have a specific due date, but it's sort of your organizational wide uh, major goals. So then you can say, you know, major goal still not completed item name and then type out your email whatever you want it to be have it sent to yourself have it sent to anybody else in the organization so the person icon is again whoever's assigned to the item i mean it's really 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 flexible so it's a little hard to get down into the weeds i can make a separate video on very useful ones uh, but just how to connect it just as easy as that. And again, sort of the big ticket items are uh, column changes, status changes, when something new is created, uh, and uh, you know the time period ones are pretty neat too. So if it's still on a board and you want to have an email sent to somebody, let's just say, uh, for example, in my business, we have clients that need to fill out documentation. So let's just say we have a questionnaire. We sent it to them. We want it to be done. Uh, before we can progress further with their case, but they still haven't done it. So we can have a time period to send an automatic email to the client and say, hey, still waiting on this questionnaire. Uh, please send it to us when you have a chance. Once they send it to us, you check off the item off the board. They quit getting these automatic reminders. Uh, you know, there, there's other software like HubSpot and uh, you know other CRMs that are more robust or at least easier to use. But I think one of the best things about Monday is that it can sort of just do everything. It can do it all. If you want to sit down and play with these automations and integrations, there is a way to figure out how to do it, even if it's not the easiest way in the world. So the other one that is a little more challenging is when an email is received. So I think a lot of people will be interested in this one. Not as user-friendly. I So when an email... So you have, you have to filter the emails. So the way that this works is you have to add a condition, meaning subject. So the easiest way to do this is to email yourself and have a value. So this is probably the way I would suggest it. So you can do basically anytime the subject of an email sent to this email address has the uh, bracket, Monday bracket in it, uh, then it will basically fall into this group. So when email is received, create an item in whichever group it is. So let's just say add to board. So I'm going to email myself and show you how that works. So oh, let me pull it over to the other screen. So I'll email myself. And then you do it like this. Bracket one day. Here's an email to add to add board. And then we'll give it a second to figure out what's going on. Uh, that is a very useful one if you can get used to it. 
and there you go. It made the subject line with this. So you could actually do some pretty fascinating stuff with this, with this particular one. I going through and connecting. You, know, you, you can have Monday, and then you could actually let's just say you wanted to have it go to specific boards instead of just this one sort of primary board. And now you, I, I'm propagating additional emails based upon emails landing based upon new items being created. Uh, so perhaps not the most uh, email uh, polite way to do that. Uh, but you, you can do a lot with this. You could have conditions, different conditions for different groups, different conditions for different boards. Lots of fun stuff you can do there. Uh, so hopefully this gave you sort of an overview on what you can do with uh, email integration. Uh, I will do another video on the uh, Gmail calendar or the Outlook calendar integration. But for today, I think that is enough. Uh, I hope this was useful. And uh, thanks very much.